Hello, Jess Too Good here, and the Daily Bugle LEGO Spider-Man Summer 2021 set has been revealed officially. The set retails for $300 and releases May 26th at LEGO stores and shop at home for VIPs, June 1st for everyone else with a total of 3,772 pieces and 26 minifigures. That's right, 26 minifigures. Weird because there's no press image of all the minifigures together, but this image from Brick Set's review copy on their set details page does with Peter Parker, Betty Brant, J. Jonah Jameson, Aunt May, The Punisher, Daredevil, Gwen Stacy, Ben Urich, Robbie Robertson, Miles Morales, Mysterio, Blade, Ghost Spider, Ron Barney, Bernie the Cab Driver, Firestar, Doc Ock, Venom, Carnage, Spider-Ham, Amber Grant, Black Cat, the Green Goblin, Spider-Man minifigure, and Sandman. Out of all those, the top four that stand out to me are Daredevil, Blade, Punisher, and Black Cat. Those are four Marvel characters we never got in minifigure form before. The first three I never expected since some consider them too adult for LEGO. All look perfect except the fact that Blade is missing hair. They could have gone using a new hair piece for him or just use a slick hair or snaps hair piece from Island Extreme Stunts, which isn't so common now. Well, I'm not a comic reader and I'm just a movie dude, I friggin' love this. I love the world of Marvel, but the LEGO Marvel sets of recent years, especially for Spider-Man, have been oversimplified for a younger audience. This, however, is an 18 plus set, a very complex, challenging build that comes together so well. We've gotten direct consumer adult sets before, but they've kind of sucked for Marvel. Was not a fan of either of those two, none were a play set. But this, wow, we never even got buildings this big and detailed in LEGO City. I love how they did the windows at each floor, which looks easy to remove from the bottom up with a couple of studs connecting each, and the window looks easy to slide out to inspect the inside, and man, is each floor loaded with details. It seems like this set has a bunch of new 2x2 tile prints for Daily Bugle newspapers loaded with comic references. Like, take a look at how each are different. Four in this room are straight references from the Raimi trilogy. Like, this newspaper is a remake of a towel print from the Spider-Man Train Rescue set in 2004. Holy gajoli. The Brothers Brick has a great image from the first part of the review of all the newspapers together. Now, with all of those prints, I wish the Spider-Man meme portrait wasn't stickered, but I get it. I also wish the big screens at the front weren't stickered as well, but my god, I love the Daily Bugle news screen and the Vote Osborne tagline. I love the 1x1 tiles, hopefully prints with the elevator arrows. Speaking of which, I think those are just elevator doors illustrated by bricks, so there's not actually a working elevator, but I get it because that would just add unnecessary pieces for a function and would be a pain for maneuvering. I also really like the build for the fire escape at the side that pops in color. The New York taxi cab build with the new stand and how the logo at the top of the Daily Bugle is built with the roof also having a very nice water tower and the whole building is on a 32 by 32 gray base plate with both sides having 1 by 2 Technic pin receiving to bricks to attach this to other Lego modular buildings even though this technically isn't a modular building. Yes, I love that, I love that, I love that. What seems to be a soda machine on the first floor, but dang it, I wish they had more pictures of the first floor because it's kind of hard to see from this one pick. And then there's a build for the spider buggy. Other nice figures include the different build for Doc Ock's tentacles using the action pose piece. That came out rather well. The Firestar minifigure with the hair piece in red and Robbie Robertson with that new face print. And it is kind of funny comparing this to the beloved 2013 Daily Bugle, which was just the regular $50 set. Oh. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. If you're going to fork over $300, subscribe for more LEGO content, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.